I've been wanting to do this video from a long time. You see, I don't want you to suffer like I did. Today we are going to talk about the dark side of the Indian IT industry. So I currently work as a full stack developer at a good startup. But I want to share experience that I went through as a fresher. You know, if you think you just graduated and you somehow got placed in a MNC IT company big IT companies and if you think that my life is set na 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 let's cover this shit one by one okay we're going to talk about all of these things obviously i am not just going to crib about this thing but i'm also going to provide a practical solution so stick with me i am going to talk about a lot of things that i've been through you might probably go through but this is going to help you how to overcome that shit Okay now let's talk about projects so mainly a lot of people are from tier 2 and tier 3 colleges and what happens is you probably get into these kind of mnc companies which i cannot name right now but you know what those companies are so if you are lucky enough you probably might get a development project in which you get a good experience of programming and all that but there are chances that you will get into a maintenance or a support based project okay and to be honest i did get into that shit hole myself and let me tell you how the work is in that kind of a project you see i was asked to just stare at a screen which showed, which told me if a server is down or up and i also used to do a bit of excel related work that's all you really don't need engineers to do that kind of shit okay now if you're like me and if you love programming you are going to get depressed with this kind of work a lot of service based companies do survive on these kind of support projects but that's fine the real problem is that you are smartly recruited under an agreement where you have to serve at least 2 years and if you want to quit in that period guess what you'll have to pay a hefty amount it could be around 1 lakh or even 2 lakh rupees so in a way you're not forced i was not forced to work but you have no other option okay because that is a lot of money and you ca- you obviously cannot afford to quit at that point because i'm sure you will have a lot of other dependencies okay now even if you don't like programming that's fine but please do not stay in these kind of support projects because guess what this kind of work is so monotonous that it can be replaced by an automation and it will be replaced completely one day rendering your work experience useless okay so i know how it feels like see if you don't like programming you can obviously switch to testing related profiles you always have an option now let's talk about managers You know if you're unfortunate enough you'll probably land up with a toxic manager. Now let me tell you how these people become managers. They stay at the same company for 10 odd years and they have only one skill that is to micromanage the shit out of you. Okay, I'll tell you what happens. These people will make your life hell. Okay, you I'm not saying all managers are toxic managers but there are a lot of them and I have been through these kind of managers. And you're probably thinking that I'll probably go talk to a HR. No. You see HR is there to protect the company and not you, okay? No, if you like office politics and licking people's ass, then congratulations, you are going to become one of these people one day. But if you can't tolerate this shit, I'd say get out of that place as soon as you can, okay? Because if you're being micromanaged at everything that you do, if you have to beg your manager to approve your leaves, leaves that you earned, which are your right, if you are getting the worst possible appraisals, what's the point of staying at such a company? You know, there's a po- popular saying that people don't quit due to bad companies, people quit because of bad managers. Now I'm sure a lot of you can relate to this and are probably wondering how the fuck do I get out? Man, I'm stuck. Let me tell you one thing. As dark as this industry seems, there are equally good amount of opportunities lying out there. There is always a solution, there is always hope. 3 years ago I was stuck in a support project with zero hopes and today I'm a full stack developer, okay? So there is always hope. 
if you're really passionate enough you can do anything in this industry okay so what's the solution here how do you become a developer on your own the easy answer is to switch as soon as possible now why do i say that it's because i've seen people get stuck at that same shitty old job for years i mean when you cross at least 4 to 5 years of experience it becomes hard to switch to a different technology and i've seen people get stuck the longer you stay in this that kind of a toxic environment it becomes harder to switch to a new one especially into development because you are expected to know things on a senior level by then and that is when it gets a bit hard to switch so how do you get started you could either be a student who just graduated or you could already be in this kind of a city city job so i'll give you a few steps to follow along and this is what i did to get where i am today and i'm sure this is going to help you if you don't already know programming pick a language it could be java it could be python it could be javascript get started with it you first need to learn the basics you can learn it from youtube you could learn it from udemy courses anywhere there are a lot of free resources on the internet once you learn this you have to improve your problem solving abilities you got to learn da- data structures and algorithms so i'm sure you would have learned some of these in your engineering college if you are are from computer science background if not that's fine you can learn it too it's not that difficult okay it's not rocket science so once you learn this so problem solving abilities i mean these are problem solving is the key to cracking coding interviews you will be needed i mean this is the entry barrier you need to learn this skill you can use a lot of websites like hacker rank lead code so once you learn this you got to start learning any kind of framework on top of it i mean if you are actually applying for an entry level job it's not that necessary because all they care about is your problem solving abilities and down the line you will probably learn some of their own frameworks so once you have perfected all these skills prepare a resume keep it one page possible there are a lot of websites where they provide you a template you just need to fill in the details and you can download it so once you've done this you need to start applying to companies but you also need to make sure that you don't apply to the same kind of shitty companies and end up where you started right so how do you do that you i would say prefer startups or product based companies because they have a different kind of working culture and you would obviously hustle but you would learn a lot for finding good companies you can always go to glassdoor for finding real reviews written by their own employees so all these might seem very easy because i'm going in a flow and i'm telling you a lot of things at once but it is going to be a bit difficult you are going to get rejected a lot of times i myself have got rejected over 5 to 6 times before i finally could crack it so every rejection will give you some kind of an insight of what you missed in that interview so when you go for the next one make sure you don't repeat that mistake with that being said i don't hate any of these companies i just don't want you to have shitty job i don't want you to settle for them you deserve better so in future i'm going to bring a lot of these kind of videos where i explain in detail how i became a developer what mistakes that i did which you can possibly avoid and how it all started a detailed re- road map for that you need to subscribe my friend so that you don't miss the upcoming videos all right so this is veer signing off i'll see you in my next video bye bye